Here we go then. So I've started a playlist called Studio Beta YouTube Desktop Feedback by Mike. That's the screen on the left that you see. Number one video is out for the first look. And then we're going to be talking about two and three, which is about building the end screen elements. So if I get rid of that one, we're now going to look at these two. So the one on the left, I'll tell you what we'll do, is I think it's this one. Yeah, so, so what happens is that I built some elements and they look like the top left because that's the thumbnail I have used. Well, that's interesting. I didn't spot that. Hey, look, that drops in like that. So in other words, if I click over here on the right, it drops down. Can you see that bottom left of screen? Expand. And then I've got four elements. So what I've got, um, and I'll tell you what, Let's play a little bit to see what it actually looks like. Right, so we've got best for viewer video. Become learn, that's, I'll tell you the best thing to do here is because they say this is right initial stages. So, right, subscribe to Mike Downs, which one is that? So if I click it, that must be this bottom left. If I click the most recent, right, it's, the, right, got it, right. So that's the blue one. So. Video most recent is the bottom right there. If I say video for best for viewer, that's that one. Blue and blue corresponds. And a website, which is this website over here on the top right. Now you'll notice that if I go back to subscribe, on this panel on the top left, it tells us the timing, uh, the element that we're talking about, whether it's video playlist, subscribe, of course, it, which it is. Um, channel or a link, who are you going to subscribe to? Hover for outline, I wonder what that does. So if we hover, all oh right, there we go. So we can hover for an outline of the element. So if I go bound down to most recent, I've got over here, and then I can select which one. Blue outline is the one that I've done. Next one down is best for viewer, similar thing on the top left, and website link which is interesting because I have to build this. And so what that means is that if I go to the website, of course, and click the pencil, it allows me to get a very big box, but still I can have um, a URL there that you can only link to approved websites, hover card. Here we go, look, okay, your associated website, merch, merch, and crowdfunding, which is similar. I know you can build these in classic YouTube, um, dashboard but of course this is the fun of new stuff now that was blank when I first did it and uh, I had to hit that and I wasn't really sure what's going on very white very big and it says select file which I uploaded from my hard drive and call to action visit what's another call to action right here we go learn more visit sign up shop download download order or buy okay not entirely sure that's all, that's all right when I say not entirely sure I mean I'm learning as you are hopefully over my shoulder and we'll see so this is the blank video the one that I've uploaded and what I've done this time is I've taken away these test cards and all I've done is um, let's play a bit I'll show you what I mean I've done a slight pan with music from the start to the end so let's play it <laughs> And it goes through for about 30 odd seconds. So let's say at about, oh, I don't know, let's say at about, so if I can get to, this is the interesting part, if I want to get to exactly 20 seconds in, what I can do is I can click in the trim box, or not the trim box, the time code box, and with my QWERTY keyboard or keyboard, my up arrow, and can you notice I'm advancing by frame by frame? So that's, uh, I'm using a 24 frame video, so that would be 24. 20 exactly got it so then I need to go and I want to add an end screen element earlier on by the way when I click these three buttons in the down arrow where my mouse is um, bottom sort of left nothing happened so first of all let's let's go back and the reason nothing happened is because nothing is added so middle bottom add an end screen there we go so this is the bit that I really wanted to show people and that is that we can add a blank end screen a video or playlist one subscribe now the maximum number of anything you can do with end screens is four is four so that's why I topped out my last video so we've got this one which is video or playlist one subscribe 
we've got one over there. Which one should we do? Uh, let's do this one. Two videos or playlists, one subscribe, then you apply it. Then what happens after you apply is it looks like that. So this is the brand new beta. What's that cross do? Okay. Yeah, I say okay, I mean, I don't really know what I'm doing. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to leave it there because... I can start to build my elements and then start to save it and then it processes and it tells you that you've done things. So I tell you what, without anything in there, I wonder what it plays like. Let me just uh, play it a second. Yeah, it's good enough, isn't it? Now, the, the interesting thing is, is that uh, for me personally, I don't use end screens because I look at my audience retention. I think, what's the point? But then again, I could be tempted. Uh, to do it if it's so easy to do because I didn't find the other editor or the annotations thing in classic YouTube that easy maybe it's just me um, look at this slide slide that's quite nice isn't it I think slide and slide slide sorry I, I'm been watching too many of those annoying adverts right let's end this and get it out the door happy Monday recorded 30th of July 2018 the Mike Downs page 20 past 4 UK time